What's up nerds, Mike here from Crash Sim. Now today I'm going to show you how to make your very own hammer gauntlet in Beam and G Drive. If you dig these videos, be sure to subscribe. Crash Sim is a brand new channel and every like and every subscriber really do help out a lot. Now over the past few weeks, I've made a number of these Beam and G Drive hammer gauntlet videos and a lot of people have asked me to publish the modified maps. Unfortunately, doing so is pretty much impossible without resetting all of the hammers every time you boot it up, and that kind of defeats the whole point. So, because it's so easy to build these tracks, I'm going to just teach you how to do it yourself. Now, step one, of course, is to go ahead and PayPal me $14.90. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding! I'm sorry. Okay, let's open the game. Go ahead and click play. Pick your map. It doesn't really matter which map you choose, but pick something with cool stuff on the terrain to crash into. So we'll go with Jungle Rock Island and we'll spawn at the observatory. One of the things you want to keep in mind here is that your game is going to need to be in windowed mode. You can switch back to full screen after we've built the gauntlet, but for building the gauntlet, because we need to use the track maker and the world editor, it needs to be in windowed mode. Now to start out, go ahead and open the main menu, go to your vehicle tab and remove your current vehicle so you are free. Now we want to pick a spot where the gauntlet will stretch over. This looks like a good spot down here. Go ahead and find a place to put your car. Now it's important to face your car in the direction that you want the track to go because that's exactly how it's going to spawn. This looks perfect. So let's go ahead and open our vehicle menu we will just grab a auto bellow here spawn new and here we have our vehicle now go ahead and open the main menu again and over here on the left hand side click track builder it will automatically put you in the track editor your car is going to be lifted up above and it's going to be placed on this track now this is actually perfect because this is exactly the height we want our gauntlet to be from here, you can adjust many things about the track. You can adjust its height, its width, uh, etc., etc. For here, we're going to go ahead and narrow it down a little bit because we want our gauntlet track to be narrow. It can stay wider at this base here. If we ever need to turn a car around, that's going to come in handy. But for now, we will keep it narrow in the front and then click the blue arrow to continue adding sections of the track. Now this is going to be however long you want your gauntlet to be. doesn't have to get too crazy. We'll stop it right there. So that will be how long our hammer gauntlet will be. Once you've finished lengthening the track, go ahead and on the track builder menu up here, click windows and then click obstacles. When the obstacle menu pops up, it's going to look like this. Go ahead and click the plus and it's going to automatically spawn a cube. That's actually perfect because we can turn the cube into a wall. On the scale readings right here, you can click and drag to change the size of the cube in various directions. So for here, we'll go ahead and we'll make it nice and wide, about the width that we want our wall to be. And then on the height, we will make it nice and tall. So now we have our finish line slash end of the road crash boom now it's also important to go ahead and click the blue arrow again to add another section of track behind the wall that you've created and you're gonna find out why in just a second now once that's done we are completely done with the track editor so you can click the track editor button over here on the left hand side again to return to the game and now we will spawn our first hammer. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the hammer file, uh, the hammer mod file, into the description below. So go ahead and grab that. Under your vehicles, it'll pop up just like any other prop. So we'll search for hammer. Here it is. And we will spawn new. Go ahead and go to your free cam by pressing F8. And we can see the hammer just kind of chilling out here on the track. Now we want it to be upright. We want it to be right up here and swinging in the direction parallel or perpendicular to our cars. So we're going to need to enter the world editor. To do that, you press F11. And here are all the editing tools for messing with 
the game. Now, it looks intimidating at first, but we really only have to touch a couple things. So up here on the upper right-hand menu, you're going to see it says Mission Group. Click the little arrow next to it, and then scroll all the way down and click the last beam ng uh, or the last beam object here which is going to say clone something for you uh in my case it's clone zero and that happens to be the hammer once you click it you're going to get these arrows these are the movement tools for deciding where you want to put the object when you click an arrow and drag your mouse it will move in the direction of that arrow if you click the white box it will move kind of dependent on where the camera is, but it's good for making small adjustments. Now in the upper left hand corner here, go ahead and click rotate selection, which will be the third item down on this tiny little pop-up menu. Here you're gonna get kind of a globe looking thing. Each of these axes lets you rotate the object a different direction. So for now we wanna to touch the red because that's gonna bring us upright like this. You're gonna to have to kind of tweak it a little bit as you as you toy around with it, seeing which uh, direction you need to go with the stuff. But eventually it should be pretty quick to get it upright and looking more or less like the hammer here. Now that we have that, we can go ahead and click the move arrow again and bring it down so that it's about where we want our hammer to be. Now we want the hammer to be high enough that it doesn't run in to the edges of the track, but we also want it to be low enough that it's going to smash our cars real good, right? So we're going to leave it like that, and then we're going to go ahead and test it. Now how you test it is you're going to go ahead and press F11 again, which is going to kick you back into the game. Now we can unpause the game and drive our car forward. If it hits the hammer, the hammer is low enough to do damage, and that should be just fine. All right, now we can go ahead and enter the world editor again. And this is where we're going to select, or where we're going to spawn uh, the additional hammers. So over here on the right-hand side, make sure that your clone, the correct clone, the hammer clone is selected. Go ahead and click Control C, which is the copy command. And then you click Control V, which is paste, and it's going to spawn in a new hammer in roughly the location of the camera. Every time it spawns in a new hammer, you're going to need to position it in the spot that you want it. Now, this is your hammer gauntlet, so feel free to make it however you want it. We're going to start out with two hammers there. I'm going to put one in the middle. So when we're going to go down here, we're going to press Control V again. It's going to spawn another hammer. We can go ahead and just move that into position real easy. And then we're going to go ahead and put three of them down here. This will be kind of like the last test, right, before the finish line. So we've got one there. Control V again. Another hammer. And Control V again. Easy peasy. Now, we are essentially done with the world editor. We can go ahead and hit uh, F11 again. And now that we're back in full screen mode, I'm going to tab through and activate all of the hammers. So, we're going to hit T, and it's going to rotate that hammer in that direction. Now, you're going to click either T or G, depending on which direction you want the hammer to go. Now that we have that activated, we're going to hit Tab, and I believe that's going to make our car move. Let's just verify. Yep. So now if we hit Tab again, we should be on this hammer. We're going to have this hammer also go in the same direction. Tab again, and we're going to have the next hammer go in the other direction. There we go. Perfect. Now... You'll remember that I had you add a little uh, section of the track back here. Now, this is extremely important because this is going to allow us to kind of automate the whole uh, gauntlet process. Now, all we have to do is just spawn a car back here. Go with another autobello. Easy peasy. And now if we pause physics and we open the menu, we can click AI and then chase me. And then this is our car at the beginning of the track, and as soon as we unpause, this car is going to race down the track.
Okay. And it did not make it. But hey, that's okay. We'll go ahead and reset and pause again. Not a big deal. Now, every single time we spawn a new car... So let's go with uh, the Miramar here. Let's go with the, uh, let's see, diesel. Why not? Chances of this car making it down the track, almost zero. But you know what? I have faith. Every time you spawn a new car, all you have to do is head down here to your target car, click the main menu, click chase, and then unpause the game. It's looking good. It's looking very good. Oh, no! Ah! Okay. You know what? I, you know what? We deserve that. We deserve that, and that's fine. I'm telling you right now, though, I know exactly what car will make it. Anyway, I mean, we're pretty much done with the track at this point. You know, you can add other stuff if you want. You can add spinners. You can add any number of things. But at the moment, the gauntlet is pretty much finished. It's really that easy. Now, sometimes you're going to get a car that does this, and it spawns kind of wanky. Or wonky? Wanky. What the? You just have to kind of turn it around here, which is why it's nice to kind of have the track uh, a little bit wider on the back. Let's line it up here. Go ahead and pause it. Cycle back to the beginning, and we're off. Come on, baby. I have faith. I have faith. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh. Come on, man. We were so close. They were so close. It's okay. You know what? Honestly, I know exactly the car that can do it. And I don't want to hear any doubts. Okay? This is the one. This is the car that makes dreams come true. Do you understand? Let's just turn this little puppy around. We're going to be A-OK. -okay. I'm telling you right now, if this car doesn't make it, which, I mean, I don't even know why I'm saying this, because it's going to make it. But if it doesn't make it, I will heart every single comment on this video. And I mean that. I mean that. I wouldn't joke about that, okay? Let's go. No. No! Okay, listen. That one, I was joking when I said that car was going to make it. What I meant was, what I meant was, this one's going to make it. Do you guys think that I would joke about that? Come on. Come on. I take this very seriously. Here we go. Yeah! Get some! Here we go. Oh, it's, oh my, the first one, the first, ha are you kidding me, the first hammer? You couldn't even make it past the first hammer. Is this, okay, you know what? Last try. We gotta pull out all the stops, okay? We gotta pull out every last stop. And I mean that. I wouldn't fib, okay? I'm not a fibber. It's go time. Don't let me down. Don't let me... Okay. You know what? You kind of let me down. You kind of did. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was easy to follow. If you guys have any questions at all, please feel free to to drop a comment in the comment section below. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, if you enjoy any of my BeamNG or Wreckfest or any of my videos, please go ahead and nail that subscribe button and uh, help the channel grow, you know? Have a good one. Hugs and kisses.